brother James. Hey, I am about going out now. What about your driver? On assignment? Okay, I will call her now. God is with you. I will be with her right now. Okay, bye. Yes, mom. You know your dad and I love you so much. Not for a second will you forget the son of whom you are. You are the son of God and the child of this wonderful family. Please, do not disappoint us. I promise, mom. I will not disappoint you both. I will try my best to make you and dad proud. Thanks, dear. All right, your dad is here. You would like to speak with him. Oh. Hello, the law. Lawyer Martins, how are you? I'm sure you must be missing your mom's delicacies by now. Of course. <laughs> of course, Dad. <laughs> I miss him badly. But for now, my book is more important. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, my dear. 
Lawyer Martins. Yes, by the time you are done with your academics, we will be proud to have a lawyer in the family. By God's grace, I will, Dad. <laughs> yes. Thank you, my son. Uh, lawyer Martins. Yes. Um, I hope to send your allowance by next week. Hope that is not too late. Ah, thanks a lot, Dad. Thanks. All right. Um, my son, please. Hmm? Don't you ever forget all you have been taught. Hmm? We look forward to you making God proud and making us proud. Thank you, my son. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye. Bye, Dad. Uh. Uh. Well. You see? I can get you now. Mm -hmm. Wally. I can. Please just me. Wally, what's up? Thank How you. How you doing? Brother. Where have you been since morning? I've been looking everywhere for you. I even went to your hostel. Daniel, your roommate, directed me here. What are you doing here? Nothing. Just having a discussion. Okay, let's go. To where? Fellowship, of course. It's time. Let's go. See, I forgot. Mm. See, I will not be able to go with you today. Maybe next time. Wally, but you promised to go with me today. Is it because of these guys you don't want to go? These guys? See, these guys you are talking about are my friends. So, what are you saying? Wally, I know these guys. They are one of the guys terrorizing this campus. These guys are bad guys. Excuse me. What do you mean? Why do you like judging people? See, if you don't have anything better to say, please, excuse me. Wally. <sighs> Friends. Wally. <sighs> Thank you. See, let's continue our discussion. What did you do, sir? Just leave him. Just leave him. Just leave him. See, he, like what I'm saying, I can get you now. Uh, being a boy and being a man. They are two different things. Good afternoon, guys. Hey, Apal. Maru. Apal. You're welcome. Do you know that the results are out? You don't mean it. Even the names of those that qualified for the scholarship. Eh? So quick? Yes. Congratulations. Now I know you are not just brilliant, but you're a genius. Congratulations for what? Your name was part of those that qualified for the you scholarship. You don't man. mean it. Me? Then scholarship? Ah! Ah! Thank you. Wow. Eh? I don't know what to say. Me? Scholarship? Ah! My parents will be free from the financial stress that my education has brought on them. Ah, I'm so happy. Wow, I can make my parents smile again. <sighs> Mama, please tell me the problem. I'm only worried about the continuation of your school. All I have, I have sold for you to get this. I have no hope of getting another money for you to complete your education. Your uncle, who used to assist is dead, and you are aware of it. See my predicament. Since I fell from the palm tree, I cannot walk again. <coughs> Sorry, my husband. Sorry, 
my son. I'm afraid the continuation of your education is at stake. <laughs> God. God help me. God help me. Help me, oh God. God help me. Ah, Wale. Wale, my son. God help me. God help me. What shall it profit a man to gain the old world and just lose his soul in hell? What do you mean? Well, you see, you're a very good friend of mine. You're my very good friend. And I will never want any evil for you. Never. Of all our friends, you know you are the most brilliant. You have the dream of becoming the Attorney General of this nation. Yes, yes. With this scholarship, your dreams are coming alive. Wally, you can't deny that this is God's favor over your life. You need Jesus in your life to make you the judge which he wants you to be. He's your maker. Is your source. You need Jesus. If not, you might just end up with a broken dream. Why? Don't make this costly mistake. Martin's okay. I was giving back to my Christian parents. I'm back out to my way to follow them to the church. In fact, my Christian name is David. See? You know it, that I'm morally sound. So let Jesus wait first. I'm here to fulfill my dreams, to become the chief judge. I mean the attorney general of this nation. So, I'm not here to become another Jesus. Oh, a pastor. <laughs> no, Wale. No one is asking to become another Jesus, no a pastor. Wally, you can't make this costly mistake. Do you know what Jesus said? He said in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will surely direct your path. Martins, you know that we're supposed to be grooving right now. And you just want to spoil all the fun. <laughs> Wale. 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 successful guys like Wally. No. It's for everybody. Why do you ask? Of the paro de ro. Obo ade o. Obo bi baba. Baba. Bi baba for this school. Asao. Have you checked notice board? Notice board? Not really. Not really. See, for this school, nobody reach you for boo. The result won't come out. You will eat the same point again. And your name number one among the scholarship awards. Mm, thank you. But uh, how far about your own results? Uh, nothing to talk about. Do you know, since I came on this campus, I've been living a wayward life. In fact, I've done so many abominable things. Do you think Jesus can receive me? Such a murderer. A drug addict. A fornicator. Such a bad guy like me. Your life is in danger. Uh, danger? What do you mean? Calm down, guy. Wally, you need to go to your destiny. You need to secure your dream and be protected. How? That is why God established GSB. GSB? Yes, Great Star Builder. Oh. It's a group where young people that have dreams belong 
too. Ah, you need to belong, boy. Oh. But you have to allow me to think about it. What? Let me think about it first. Hmm? Jesus is going to receive you. He's going to forgive you only if you ask him. Jesus said, Come unto me, O ye that labor, and I will lead him, and I will give you rest. I'm so scared. Do you imagine how many souls have died through my hands? How many aborted pregnancies I've sponsored? Or even the recent ugly. Even though your sins are scarlet, it will make it white as snow. What is I'm so scared. Jesus died and rose for your justification. The Bible said, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus, and died for your sins, you will be saved. matter what you have done. <laughs> Jesus did not come to condemn the world. No. Oh. He sent him that true Jesus, the world might be saved. But since you don't understand, I bought this poison to take my life. I just wanted to commit suicide. And I drafted this letter before you came in. And I had to stop when I heard you telling Wale, what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul in hell? But this, I just think I deserve to be in hell right now. I, I don't deserve the love of Christ. Daniel, <laughs> you are going too far. Oh God. Daniel, <laughs> hell is not for you. It is for the devil. Listen to me. Jesus came to die for our sins. While we were yet sinners, he died for us. Daniel, God does not want you to die in your sins. He wants you to be saved. Ask Jesus to come into your life. Why don't you ask Jesus to come into your life? And I will pray with you. Okay, will you receive me? If you will, I will ask him. Say these words after me. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I've come to you today. I've come to you today. Knowing and accepting that I am a sinner. Knowing and accepting that I'm a sinner. And I deserve to die. And I deserve to die. But I've come to you today. But I've come to you today. Asking you to forgive me of my sins. Asking you to forgive me of my sins. And wash me clean. And wash me clean. Be my Lord and my Savior. Be my Lord and my Savior. Oh boy, what's the problem? How can I help you? My apologies, beauty. I know you might be busy. Or probably disturbed. But your mood doesn't seem comely. And I'm very certain this is not the real you. I'm very sorry for my response. Please forgive me. Actually, I'm just bothered with some things and I'm not beauty. Excuse me. Who said you're not beautiful? You're created in God's image. Wonderfully and fearfully made. Everything God created is beautiful. You're God's creature, God's image. Don't tell me you're an you. I mean a born again Christian. I can't believe this. God even knows that you don't look like one. No, 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 no. You're getting it all wrong. Christianity is not about religious activities. It's about a way of life. Jesus never brought religion. He brought a way of life. And to your question, no, I'm not an SU. I'm just a child of God who loves God and his things. And my daily living as a Christian is by His grace and His grace only. 
I would really like to get to know you more. I was so dazed by the way you responded, even when I was rude. And the way you presented Christianity to me was so new. I'm very sure it is your church or your fellowship that have polished you this way. No. It's neither my church nor my fellowship. You know what beauty? It is Bola, no beauty. Oh, Bola is your real name, right? Okay, Bola, as I was saying, it is neither my church nor my fellowship that made me this way. It's about my personal relationship with God. God is not really concerned about your church attendance, but concerned about a relationship with you. And it's in this relationship you find your true definition, your true essence of living. This really makes sense to me. You know what? Let me give you this drama tract. In it, I'm very certain you will learn a lot. You could just read down trees. You will find my church address. You could worship with us one of those days, probably on Sunday. I'll surely be there. Thanks a lot. So can I have your phone number? Sure, no problem. Can we do a proper introduction? No problem. I'm Omobolandi Johnson, the last daughter of my parents. I'm in 200 level studying economics. Eh? I'm Martin James, a 300 level law student in this great and noble institution. The only child of Mr. and Mrs. James. Good one. Nice meeting you. The pleasure is mine. And as for what was bothering you, you need Jesus. <laughs> Jesus is the only one that can help you. Jesus has a way of soothing your pain and giving relief to your body. He loves you so much. He gives you... He lessens your body. He lessens the weight on your mind and makes everything work out well for you. Jesus has a way of turning things around for you. You, need that. you don't need to bother about anything. Your worries will be lessened. I'm free with Jesus. Really? Bola, it's like you're hiding something from me. Serious. I don't understand this is your victorious secret. Linda, hey, Linda, I beg go. Just go straight to the point. Because I don't like it when you run around the circle like this. Your new life is really dazzling me. You no longer talk the way you do. You no longer attend the club. The way you talk has changed. In fact, I don't know. Everything about you has changed. Or... Oh. Because I can't just believe it. Your lifestyle has changed. In fact, you no longer attend the club. You, the chair lady of the club. Yes, sir. Hey, Bola, this Martin's guy. Tell us more about him now, eh? Because only God knows what this guy has done to you. I'm suspecting you. I'm sure something is fishing between the two of you. Martin is not a guy like that. Mm -hmm. He's a serious Christian and a true child of God. In fact, I only really thank God for meeting him. Oh, I know. He's not that kind of guy. Hey! <laughs> These Christian guys, they know more than you think, Obola. <laughs> we will not be deceived. Richard. <laughs> See. These Christian brothers. I know them very well. They have, have faced hell in their hands. And I wouldn't like you to face the same thing. Yeah. Bola! Mm. Okay. Yeah. I do. Listen, I have to tell you that Martins is not that type. He's a very dedicated and committed child of God. In fact, he was the one who introduced Jesus to me. And Jesus is the reason for the change. 
He helped me to find my root and purpose. He, he even aided me in being a blessing to my generation. I hope one of these days you two will meet him. I pray. In fact, I want to meet him. Same here. The guy that is not that kind of person. That reminds me. He is organizing a conference this weekend. And the theme of the conference is the youth and our purpose. He and some ministers will be ministering. And I too will minister. And so I'm specially inviting my best roommates to attend. Most especially the section of woman and her purpose. Serious. Yes, love. Stella, if you see how this guy they advertise this program, mm -hmm. this conference. It's too much. In fact, I like to be there. Ha, that's good. I must. Stella loved. <laughs> Stella. <laughs> Stella, you call me right? I know they come. Say with me. You, we they go. In fact, we are going. We are there already. We are there. <laughs> I want to listen to speaker. Hola. Good afternoon, sir. Wally, how are you? Fine, sir. How was your lecture? Thank God, sir. I hope there's no problem. No, no problem, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I want you to see me later today. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I hope come it will fit to your program. I will come. I will okay. come, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. Okay, so bye. Yes, sir. Wally, I called to congratulate you. For what, sir? You know, I'm very close to your uncle. I mean, Uncle Matthew. And since the Lord decided to take him home early, it became imperative for me, you know, to take very good care of you. I have virtually donated myself as your advisor and, and mentor. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you, sir. Since the departure of my uncle. I'm grateful, sir. Let's appreciate God. Your uncle was a very, very good man. Let me inform you again that out of the 10 students, you know, that were shortlisted for that scholarship award, you topped the list of those that were finally selected. I'm very happy. In fact, I'm very happy for my parents. So I'll be free from the financial stress. Ah. You know, the Vice Chancellor called me yesterday to congratulate the department. Even the Faculty Board of Examiners were very proud of your academic achievement. And I think your Cumulative grade point average, your CGPA, is well above 4.7 over 5 now. That is an academic record. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. I will, sir. I'm grateful. Thank you, sir. I'm very happy. Sir, can I leave now? Yes, you can. Oh, Wale. Yes, I go back. Wale, do you know Jesus? Have you made him your hiding place? Do you have a relationship with him? Sir, I do go to church, sir. And my parents are Christian. I know, I know. Are you born again? That you are born in a garage does not make you a car. Sir, by the way, do you have a Bible? 
have it on my phone, sir. I mean, do you have a hard copy of the Bible like this? Where you can lay emphasis on certain scriptures? Where you can underline? Where you can write revelations, direct revelations from God? Do you have it? But sir, what does this have to do with the issue of my scholarship? Son, son, move close to me. Don't allow your story to be like that of the of the rich man. Who after making success out of life, they had great achievements, great earthly achievements. And he said one night, all my riches, I will put them in a barn. And I will say to my soul, Mary, enjoy. Forgetting that there is an owner of the soul who came to him and said, This night your soul is required of you. Sir, that must be from the Bible, sir. Yes, it's from the Bible. In the book of Luke chapter 12 from verse 16 to verse 21. Wale, the only way to safeguard your future is for you to hide your soul in Christ Jesus. Any success without Jesus, outside Jesus, is a shattered success. Sir, I will think about it. Wale, why not now? Wale, Jesus loves you. All good and perfect gift is from above. There is nothing good, even including your success, is from above. What shall it profit a man if he gains all the world, including the scholarship, and loses his soul in hell? Wally, I want you to think about it. Wale, Wale school. Wale, my guy. Ha! What did they do, you boy? Eh? Just scared me. Ha ha. Any problem? I'll be calling you things. Wale, talk to me. No problem, really. He said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his soul? Including scholarship. What is the meaning of that? Wale, wake up. Don't allow any man to deceive you. I owe oh, the so-called Christians have not visited you to change your mind. I have two D. That I don't have any interest in joining any group or club. See, just let me be. Let me be. I'm not forcing you to go against your wish or your dream. Eh? But don't allow any man to decide for you, Wale. GSB, it's not a bad group, but simply a helper to the airplanes and protector of people like you to be the dream in you and raising the star in you. <sighs> Ah. I've had you. Let me think about it. Okay, well, we'll be expecting you this weekend. At least, just give it a try. I'm walking eh? it through. Watching. I'm moving on. GP. I'm not going again. We've been working since. And what kind of place can we be going by midnight? In fact, what if snake attack us? See, if somebody is going to such a meeting, he's supposed to go by. Guy, calm down. <gasps> Look, you're already getting there. But you just have to be man when we get there, eh? Let's go. Pre 
great star builders. Great star builders. Great star builders. I, I'm deeply sorry for coming. As you all know, the assignment given on to me. We have no time to waste. Everybody, fall in line now! As you all know, we have a new member amongst us today. I'm not a new member. Shut up! How dare you speak when I speak? How dare you interrupt the master when he speaks? Harold, leave him alone. He doesn't know where he is. Very soon, he will understand. As you all know, we must complete his initiation tonight. I'm not interested. You are not interested. Look at this fool. Nobody, I repeat, nobody goes into the lion's den and comes back alive. Open your hand, boy. Yeah! Sorry, guy. It's my own best interest. Who dropped this letter on my table? I dropped it yesterday after you had left. The registral secretary brought it. Okay, you can now go. Oh, yes, 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 this is good. Thank you, Jesus. Congratulations, Mr. Olawale David Olabodi have been awarded a scholarship to complete his studies here and also given the opportunity to choose any top five universities in the United Kingdom for his postgraduate studies. This is exciting. Bye! How are you? You're welcome. Thank Please you. have your seat. <laughs> this is another scholarship award for Wally David from the state governor, worth two million naira. Oh, wonderful. It's great. Do you know I'm just seeing the award letter from the scholarship board? Good. I want you to call him right now and make the necessary arrangement for him to sign the documents and even this recent one. In fact, the school management is preparing another scholarship award for him. Excuse me, sir. There is a man waiting to see you. He said it's urgent. Please ask them to wait. I'm very busy. You can see that. No, don't worry, Mr. Felix. Let him in. Come on. Okay. Let him in. Let him come in. Good day, sir. 
How are you? Good day, madam. Good day. I am an officer from the state CID. How may we help you? I believe you can identify the students whose picture appears on that card. This is Wally's ID card. What's going on? I'm afraid it happened yesterday while this gang was robbing on the expressway. There was an exchange of bullets uh, between the gang and the policemen. And unfortunately, two young men were shot, of which this young man was one of them. Which young man? You mean Wally? Yes, sir. What? Wally David? I'm sorry. I just came to verify. But this shows that this institution harbors cultists. I will take appropriate actions on that. No. If you will excuse me now, sir. What? Would that be true? Impossible. This is strange. Unbelievable. This is Wallace's letter of scholarship. This is Wallace's letter of scholarship. Oh my goodness. Oh no. Why? Oh. What has this boy done to himself? Oh. But his wallet is gone. God. So Of all oh, my warnings, Wale, 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 of all people, God. Wale, Wale is dead. I can't believe this. I can't believe this. There must be another way. I can't believe this. Wale is dead. Oh, God. Wale is dead. That was what God revealed to me in my dreams last night, sir. You mean God revealed all this to you? Yes, sir. You searched for me, sir? Yes, I did. Can you have your seat? I'm okay, yes, sir. It was Martins that narrated all that God revealed to him concerning you. Sir, I don't see any reason why... He needs to come to you and report me to you again. But Martins, we have talked about this matter in the morning. I did not come to report you. I'm just concerned about the salvation of your soul. Wally, please, Jesus loves you. Give your life to him. But I have told you, Matthias. As you allow me to think about it. Wally, who are your friends on this campus? I don't have friends. Ah! <laughs> Wally, aside from being your head of department, I am also like your uncle. You know how close I was to your late uncle. Wale, any greatness outside God is like a mere shaft. Hide your greatness in him. Hide your greatness in Jesus. No man goes far in life without God. Uncle, I've had you. But let me think about this. Wale. You want to think about it. That's been your response all this Why? I will think about it. I will think about it. Why not now? Wally, please give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He wants everything. Sir, any other thing, sir? Wally, where will you be this weekend? Because I just hope to just drop over. I will be busy, sir. Thank you, sir. One Martins, don't be discouraged. All that we need to do is to continue to pray for him. And can I tell you, it was his late uncle that introduced Jesus to me. Thank you very much, sir. I also have a class now, sir. Thank you very much. Okay. God bless. 
bless you. Wait now, take it easy. What's wrong with you? I only get the Hello, uh -uh. ladies. Uh -uh. Hey, Martins, you where are you there now? I've been trying your number since morning. Why did you drop your phone? I'm very, very sorry. I need to attend. I needed to attend some issues. Okay. And I put it on silence. All right, okay. I really need to see you on some personal issues. So we need to discuss about the pamphlet so we could print it and get it to the um, to the distributors. Mm -hmm. And one thing else. Um, the venue, you have not paid for the venue. Okay. You need to see the authorities over the venue, That's pay true. for it, secure the date, and we also need to see. Well, I'm still waiting. Stella, please, I'm very sorry. Just go, I'll catch up with you later. Okay, <laughs> now. wow. So everything can be done. So, could you just go and get the right. Okay. Leave the way. Look, Bola, I'm sorry. I needed to put one or two things together to make sure all was set for the conference. What about your message? Are you done with it? Actually, God is helping me. But Martins, I'm scared. Bola, I've told you. You have what it takes. Moreover, in you lies a lot of virtues. You have that word, that seed, that statement that can change the lives of female folks on this campus. Bola, you can do it. Just trust in God. Thank you very much. I really appreciate him calling it. You know what? Just trust in God. Hello. I'll try my best. Thank you. Uh uh. Baby, what's up? You came early today. Hope there's no problem. Mm, nothing much. There's nothing much in school today, and Maruba. Uh, lecturers are having departmental meeting, so not much. My apologies. Martins, meet my friend Linda. Linda, meet Martins. I've been telling you about him. Nice to meet you. It's a pleasure. I've heard a lot about you. Hope she told you good things about me. Mm, probably yes. I'm in school level about chemistry, and I've heard a lot about your conference. I'm really glad to meet you. I've heard of your conference coming up this weekend. I'll be there, I promise. It's going to be very nice to have you there. And I'm very certain you'll be blessed. Martins, you haven't told me your department and level. Linda. Mm. OK, well, Martins studying law. Bola, uh -uh. let him express himself. Bola, don't worry. I'm a 300 level law student. Barista, that's great. I have a cousin, 300 level in your faculty. You will know her. She's Gladys by name. Oh, Gladys. I know her. She's a friend. Martins, I have a lot of work to do. Linda, please do excuse us. Let me attend to her. All right. So, what is happening now? Um, let me just get home, put some things into order. Then see you in the evening, probably give you a call. All right. I'll be expecting your call. Linda. Yes. I'll be seeing you at the conference, right? No problem. Take care of yourself, ladies. All right. Bye. Well, Martins is not just a smart guy. He's awesomely handsome. Little wonder. I can't imagine. Linda. A guy like Linda. him. Linda. Little wonder what. I've told you there's nothing between Martins and her. I know. But you didn't need to ensure something comes up between two of you. I have lectures to attend to and beside, Miss Stella is waiting for me. Two of you will be a perfect match. Take care of the house. Take care of your Hello, Linda. 
What are you doing around there? Are you surprised to see me? Yeah. I told you I have a cousin here, Gladys. Oh, Gladys. She just left. She... Don't worry. I'll see her at home. Okay. That's everything. We thank God. Fine. Bring good. How is your studies in Bola? Fine. Bola is good, you know. Girls with their problems. Linda, I'm in a hurry. Please, I have to be on my way. I have to be back for another lecture in the next two hours, and I need my rest. Really? Yeah. We have not finished on one of our major courses. Oh. Mm, I'm thinking if you can take a walk. Oh, sorry, but I have to go home straight. Then let me use that opportunity to know your place. Okay. I told you the last time we talked. But your dad said he sent you some money three weeks ago. <laughs> Mommy, I've spent it all. It wasn't enough. You know, I appreciate you and the grace of God over your life's experience. Okay. I'll send you some money tomorrow. Okay, Mom. Thanks. I appreciate you. I love you too, dear. Alright. Thank you, Mom. Bye, Mom. Bye. Your money or your life? You almost scared me there. <laughs> Don't tell me I know a man. Bola, one of these days, I'll surprise you with my punches. You are proving you are strong, right? <laughs> Save those words, Mr. Boxers. So, have you prepared for your speech? God is helping me, at least I'm set. Good. God will give you the grace in Jesus' name. Amen. Oh. So, where are you heading to now? I'm going to... I'm going to chop it. Food warm. F O O G warm. I'll break your mouth now. Can't you call me bookworm? Bookworm. You that you, you, the only thing you know how to do best is food. If you like, you can join me. I don't care, but I don't I play with my stomach. Free food. I will join you. Just wait for me. And look at who was just calling me food warm. Can't you fast? Me fast. When MOG is eating, I will now fast. Me I fast. beg you, meet me if you will. Eat the food together. I beg you. Let's go. Well seated, Pastor. Thank you very much, madam. Thank God. He's been well in the Lord and also in his academics. We thank God for your life too, sir. <laughs> Let's thank God. We thank God, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Wale, my man. Ah, congratulations on your scholarship. I'm so happy for you, my brother. Thank you, thank you. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Thank congratulations, Wale. Ah, I heard about your scholarship. In fact, we are so favored by God. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. But Wale, yes. Now that the long-awaited scholarship is out, what of the issue we discussed? Have you made your decision yet? Look, Wale. I don't have time for all this nonsense. And one more thing, don't allow anyone to deceive you. A life without Jesus is useless. An award, group or gathering, without the hope of eternity in Jesus is a disaster. You mean I'm worthless? And I'm a disaster. No, 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 Wale. That's not what she's trying to say. A group that you belong to that doesn't have Jesus will only end up destroying your dreams. And you will end up in hell. Wale, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. Mm. But you know I'm good. And you know this. Wale. See, I was morally good like you before, but later I realized that I needed Jesus in my life because any man born of woman is a sinner. Yes. See, save me this lyrics. I don't have time again. Wale. Wale. I got this for you. Whoa! Thanks very much. You're welcome. I do appreciate you. So what might I offer you to show my appreciation? Don't disturb yourself. 
What's our friends for? Ask me your studies. Very well. Very fine. Thanks for your kind gesture. How is Stella and Bola? They're fine. They're fine. Let's appreciate God. I just want you to leave it for the coming conference. Sorry, please. Let me answer this for you. Hello, brother Daniel. You people are there already? Yeah, we're already here. It's time already. Okay, I'll, go, I'll join you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. Linda, please do bear with me. We have a prayer meeting towards the forthcoming conference. Okay. And today is the last day. I'll see you some other time. And right. thank you very much for the gift. You're welcome. I appreciate you. All right. Bye. Bye. Take care. Bye. Annabelle. Afana. Fine. Huh? Where are you up to? Oh, I'm going home. Let's work together. No problem. This is my mantle. It represents my mandate. Young man, why do you bother me with questions that you have answers to? <laughs> I know quite well that this mantle and mandate is yours. But you gave them to me willingly. I mean, out of your own volition. Volition? Ow! 
When? And how? Look here, young man. I don't have answers to your questions. And if you will excuse me, I have to leave. Don't go with it! Jesus, you almost knocked the life out of me. I'm sorry. I just want to surprise you. Please, I'm sorry. No problem, no problem. I was just relaxing before I leave for the conference. I'll be leaving very soon. Don't tell me the conference is today. Yes, it is. Are you saying you have not prepared? Mm, I actually came to see you for something. And what is that? You are a nice guy. Thanks very much. Um, actually, I don't know how to tell you. What? You are a very nice guy. Thank you. Linda, what are you trying to do? No, Matis. You just have to do it. You are a guy. You are joking, right? No. Uh, even that, stop. Uh, stop. Wait, Martins. Stop. Martins. Stop. Martins. Stop. You are a guy. You stop. Are... Stop. No, no, no. Linda, Martins. Stop. Linda, stop. Martins, Linda. you just have to do it. Linda, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. To the deep, my boss frustrated. Oh, God, what have I done? I'm supposed to be on the conference, the conference ground, and the way I've seen that so much. Matthews, I'm very sorry. Shut up, <laughs> you dropped out of Jezebel. <laughs> Start out of the devil! <laughs> Martins. Oh God. Please. Forgive me. What have I done? I promise to be at the conference. Get out of my circle. I'll be at the conference. <laughs> and I believe God will prove himself. Get out! Get out! Get out of my side! <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Forgive me! <laughs> God! I ask for your mercy. <laughs> I ask for your mercy upon my life. You are the conference today, oh Lord. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Let me enjoy your mercies today. <laughs> ah, God. Let me enjoy your failing grace, oh Lord, upon my life. <laughs> Forgive me, Lord. Don't so you want to give your life to Jesus, I ask you to come out. Come and give your life to Jesus. He loves you. He cares for you. He's your giver. He's your savior. Before you were born, he knew you. You were paying you for a purpose. He had a purpose for your life. He had a destined way. Jesus loves you. He's waiting for you. He cares for you. He's the redeemer of your soul. He's the one that gives you peace. Please give him a round of applause. God bless you. God bless you, God. Thank you, God.
I saw you when you when we were going out for the altar call. My dear, I didn't even know how I find myself at the altar. Mm. I don't want to die in my sin. Mm. As a matter of fact, I want to fulfill my dreams and purpose. Mm. In fact, I was so surprised when I saw you. I was so surprised. And that's a very wonderful decision you've made. It's a very wonderful one you've made. That's true, that's true. And I love the talk you give. Hey, sisters, what are you waiting for? Actually, we're waiting for somebody. somebody. Okay, okay. Annabelle? Yeah? Are you going home straight? Yes, I have a lot of things to do at home, so I have to hurry up. Um, Bola, Linda, I think you guys will meet me at home. I haven't eaten anything since morning, and I'm very hungry. Yeah. All right, no problem. We'll meet you at home. Please don't finish it. I will try. Yeah. Linda, yes. Right. Ladies, I'm very sorry for keeping you waiting. I had to put some things into order and not leave everything just like that. No problem, we understand. In fact, Martins, I was so dazed by that program. It was so powerful. The way the Holy Spirit moved, in fact, I've never seen it before. Now I know that God can use anything to prove His mightiness. Actually, I was blessed beyond measure. And Martins, you're one of the virtues that God is using in our generation. And my prayer is that the grace of God will keep increasing upon your life. Hmm. Yes, so my dear, that's one of my prayers for you. That the grace of the Lord will keep increasing and it will prevail for you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Ah, amen. Oh, hmm, my dear. Martins, you look so quiet. Hope there's no problem. Um, no, no problem. No problem at all. No problem. Um, I was just a bit um, dazed by the way God uh, manifested himself. Um, I'm on board, I'm on board. Hmm. Humility. Hmm. Humility, can you see? Upon all that the Lord did to him, he's still humble. Hmm. It's another virtue in him that I love so much. Hmm. Sincerely speaking, that's one of the virtues I admire in Martins. Let's just keep praying for him. I believe the Lord will strongly use him. Amen. Amen. Lest I forget, Martins, Linda, yeah. I, I have an appointment with someone and I promise to meet her immediately after the program. I'm very sorry, I have to leave you. Okay. Martins, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. And baby girl, we'll see you at home. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Martins, do you see, even in your mistakes, God manifested himself. Let's just assume what happened between us was meant to be. Will you shut up? Can you hear yourself speak for Christ's sake? Where have you buried your conscience? Is there no guilt in your heart? I don't have any doubts that you are the devil himself. Martins, you call me a devil? You got me a devil because I made myself so cheap to you. After all, we both enjoyed it. Oh. Do you think I'm happy with what happened between us? Okay, I understand. It's okay, I understand. Let me go get my books in your place. After all, I've given my life to Jesus. Linda, I am sorry. I did not mean my words. Forgive my harsh words. Okay, let's go and pick up your, your books. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. No! 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 Why have I done this again, Lord? Why have I decided to tread the path of death? Martins, please don't say that to yourself. It's all my fault. Please, I'm sorry. Please forgive me, Martins. Take your beauty hands off me. Get out of my room. Why do men keep on taking my mercy for granted and frustrating my grace upon their lives? 
the challenge you all have with grace is that it becomes affluence when you sin. In spite of this, I still forgive for failure to live above sin. We always have dominion over you. Help yourself by not tasting it. Because it is sweet in the mouth. But later on, the consequence is unbearable. No sinner will go unpunished. Remember, it is written, for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. I better let you know that sin, when it's begotten, eventually leads to death. Those who have married themselves to sin only break my purpose on their lives. And they have a broken dream because sin only cut short my glory upon you. The problem with sin is that it is with you that is sweet. But with heaven is unbearable. No sinner shall go unpunished. Bola, I was just trying to do some readings before going back to the hostel. That reminds me, you sounded so worried on the phone. Oh, no problem. Okay. I'm worried and disturbed about you. Hi, Matthias. Bola. Annabelle. Hey, what's up? How are you doing? I'm fine, are you? I'm so worried and disturbed about you. Me? Oh, it's not serious. Actually, it was a word God gave to me while I was praying. The Lord told me to caution you or else you will chastise you with his hunger. He said he's a consuming fire and his eyes are too holy to build iniquity. <laughs> Bola, <laughs> you want to caution me? Okay, I'm listening. Martins, the Lord told me that you've been doing things that are defiling your body. He said you've been sleeping with a strange woman. And he said, unless you desist and you repent, your lampstand shall be taken away from you and given to a lesser vessel. He said, your mantle and your mandate shall be taken away from you. Martins, tell me, what's going on? Bola, I've had enough. You know what amazes me is that all you are saying is not happening. And even if God is going to caution me, he will come to me first. I believe when it comes to spiritual matters, I am still higher than you. So if God wants to caution me, he will come to me first. Okay. Well, maybe God is just cautioning you. But one thing I believe is that he is not an author of confusion. I believe now you'll be more careful and discerning. That's all I came to tell you. Okay, thank you very much, Bola. As I've said before, all what you are saying has not happened and it will not happen. I'm very grateful. All right. I think I need to leave now. Okay, I'll, I'll give you a call. No problem. I'll be expecting your call. Take care of yourself. And you too. Bye. God, she almost got me there. But I'm a smart guy. But wait, even if there's anyone to correct me, it shouldn't be Bola. Bola that I brought into the feet. Abba. Into the deep, my boss frustrated. There is something you need to see. Come and see. Come and see. Come and see. Ah. Mm. What is that? Take a look at this. Take a look at that. <laughs> a university undergraduate lays hands on a blind woman in a crusade and she regains her sight. Wow. And the name of the young man is Martins James. <laughs> 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 
Is that what we sent him to school for? We've been sending money to train a lawyer and not a pastor. Honey, we should rather be happy. Have you forgotten so soon what the Lord said through the pastor about this boy? That we should not be an hindrance to him fulfilling God's purpose for his life. But God's plan for his life is not to become a pastor or to be holding crusade all around. Look honey, you better call your son and talk sense into his head. Uh -huh. We sent him to school to be a lawyer and not to be, become a pastor. Sweetheart, listen to yourself woman. Listen to a woman who calls herself a mother. Shade, you surprise me. You should rather be grateful that your son is not enlisted as one of the cultists on campus. Or neither is he arrested for raping someone. I have said my own. I am expecting a lawyer and not a pastor. Shadi? Shadi? Can you imagine? See what she's telling me, instead of her to be praying for the boy. God. I'm sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. Hello, Linda. You can't do this to me. Martins, I've told you. I've made my decision and no one can make me change my mind. Linda, understand. Understand what? Understand what? No. No, I've made up my mind and that is final. My decision is final. No going back. Hello? Linda? Linda? Hello? This girl just wants to destroy my life. Bola, how disappointed you. I never listened to your corrections and advice. I left some letters on the table beside your books. Please, can they give to those concerned? When you read the letter, you will get to know what happened. Pray that God should forgive me and Martins. Martins? Your friend, Linda. What has Martins got to do with this? I hope it's not what I'm thinking. With. I am Ruth, calling from the teaching hospital. Hospital? Your friend Linda gave us your number, and I think you need to come over quickly. What happened to Linda? What, 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 what happened to Linda? What is it? What happened? Young lady, you better stop this questioning of yours and rush down now. My God. What would this girl pick a call for Christ's sake? Pick it up now! Bola, how dare you barge into my room without knocking or greeting? What's your problem? Bola, I'm talking to you! But you told me that there was nothing between both of you. Martins, oh. you told me that there was nothing between you. Why do you break the hedge, Martins? Why? And you know that he who breaks the head, him shall stop and bite. I don't know what you're talking about. You mean you don't know what I'm talking about? You don't know what is, what is going on between you and Linda? You don't know? Martins, is that what you are telling me? Bola, I'm sorry. It's the devil. Devil? Devil my foot. 
Martins, despite all the warnings, you still took the grace of the Lord upon your life for granted, Martins. Why, Martins? Why? Look at me and answer me. Why? But, Bola, you have not told me what happened. I've been trying to call Linda's number since yesterday, but she's not picking. I'm worried. What's wrong? Martins, I'm just coming from Linda's house. Linda is dead. What? Linda is dead. I'm just coming from her place. She's dead. When? Bola, talk to me. Tell me this is not true. What happened? Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You are asking me what happened? Martins, you are actually asking me how it happened. Check the letter. The details are in the letter. Ah! Died of abortion! God, what have I done? I'm finished. I'm doomed. I made her do this. I caused it. Wow. Martins, wait till you read this. Everything is already out. The students have is already her way. Oh. Me? A murderer? An expert from the school? Ah, oh, God, save me! Don't ah, touch me! Don't touch me! Tell me this is not happening! Tell me I'm dreaming! Tell me this is just a dream! You are asking me what happened? Ah! You are asking me if it's happening to you? And you know, our father is one of the renowned justices in this country and he has vast take vengeance on you. Ah! Ah, God! What have I done? I'm finished! Ah! Ah! I'm finished! Yes, yeah, coming! Good afternoon, sir. Good day, young man. Yes, sir. Are you Mr. Martins James? I'm Martins James. Open no problem. Do you know any lady called Linda? Uh, uh, yes, I know Linda, but. Uh, yes, but. Young man, you are under arrest. Uh, sir? Oh, yes, sir. I would advise that you remain silent because every word you speak might be used against you in the court of law. Uh, uh, but, sir, I can explain. There is an explanation for all this. This uh, uh, sir, I, I can explain. I can, I, I can explain. Seriously, I can explain. There is an, there's an explanation for this, sir. I can explain. Having established beyond all reasonable doubt that you, Martin James, are guilty of rape and murder as charged. Now, this is my judgment. You are hereby sentenced to death by hanging. Get it back. Hannah will never give it to you. <laughs> Father, Lord, please have mercy. Show me your grace, Lord. Mercy, Lord. <laughs> Jesus, this is not happening. What is it? 
Father, let your mercy prevail. Let your mercy prevail. Lord, your mercy. Hello, Martins. Are you at home? Please wait for me. Wait for me. I'm coming. I'm coming to your house. It's very urgent. Wait for me. I'm coming. met my absence. I was about leaving for the conference for a friend. I had to wait for a friend. Really? Yes. Actually, Abby. <laughs> Matthews, what's going on here? Nothing. I've been waiting for you since. Baby girl. You're here too. This cannot be safe for a while. Linda, please excuse us. Alright. Take it easy, Bala. That was what I saw in the dream. God. <sighs> Martins, you need to be very careful. Although I may be too small to caution you, but please don't frustrate the grace of God upon your life. Bala. I thank God for this revelation and I appreciate you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. Then one more thing. Are you sure there's nothing funny going on between both of you? Sincerely, Bola, there is nothing going on between both of us and there will never be. Let's go inside. I know God is going to direct us. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What kept you guys so long? I guess it's conference issues. Actually, I just need to settle some issues with God before the program. Ladies, I think I have to leave for the conference now. It's not time yet. I need to attend to some important issues. I'm walking me through. Shall we? Linda, you promised to come, right? Don't worry, I'll come with her. Wale promised to come too, because I need to go home to change. I need to go So, Bye. I'm walking it through. I'm moving on. All is hard to be.
It's in my dream, I'm great. It's in my dream, I swore. It's in my dream, I change my world. It's in my dream, I'm great. It's in my dream, I swore. It's in my dream, I change. Oh, 
Oh, just somebody they look me oh. Just somebody they look me oh. Na jaja I dey go my own 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 oh. Who got touch me oh? She I need safety. My destiny done the shine oh. Love without Jesus, love without Jesus. Now express road to go. Now express road to go. Now express road to go. Now set a road to go. Dream without Jesus, dream without Jesus. Dream without Jesus, dream without Jesus. Who could touch me? Oh, she I need safety. My destiny done the shine, yo. Love without Jesus. Love without Jesus. Love without Jesus. Love without Jesus. Now empty space, so. Now set a road.